What's up guys, welcome to the Bigfoot Researcher's Journal. I shot this clip as Carrie and Donnie were walking away. Heard some movement in that little row of bushes there. And uh, it was apparent that there was something going on. We all three of us heard a stick break from this area during Donnie's retelling of his encounter right here in this exact spot. There they are walking off. Pretty much seven out of 10 people you ask would probably say, yeah, man, I, I think they're real. There's too many people who've seen them, you know? And yet it escapes everyone that they're living in the bushes as you're walking by. Where are they? I, I don't see them. Well, we know they're there and we can't really see them all that good unless they're like out in the open. So could they be blending in maybe? Hmm. At no point are you going to say, oh yeah, there, there's a Sasquatch right there. Unless you have been paying attention to crypto reality, because we've been studying these kinds of Sasquatch. They have white or very light gray skin. And when I say white, I mean white, bright white, clown white. Like as in birthday clown makeup white. Not Caucasian. And this white skin enables them to receive and then retransmit the glow off the plants around them to a degree that confuses the human eye. Essentially, since human beings have such a difficult time understanding these creatures are real, the prey is in denial that the predator exists. I'm looking over there. There's nothing, sir. Nothing. All of this, combined with the fact that most people live vicariously through others, online, and you get what you get, the experiencers and the people who are in fact studying the creatures are being suppressed, while the general public continues to be entertained by the idea they could be What was that, Donnie? We found some like that, but it was yellow colored, like a real, real yellow, a lemon yellow. That, that was this year. Man. Not, not long after we closed. See, there's the creek right here. This is where it starts getting thick if you're going down it. Okay. This is, we're nine miles back in the middle of nowhere on Donnie's lot, and I'm just telling you, this place is like wild. It's overgrown. This is natural in here. This is the way it like is nature intended to be. And it really is something being back here because, you know, we work a lot of managed areas and, uh, and there's a lot of prescribed burns and there's all kinds of stuff going on. Well, this place, it's never had this is, burn. this is the way it is out here. You can see the buck rub on that little scrub oak. And you look over here, look at that one. That's from this season. They got that skin up. Oh, yeah. I've been right up in here in the creek. I've never been where we're standing. I've never been up on the shore this far. But that's what, look at the trails coming out of that. All down there, man. It's nuts. It's, it's as if there's a community of people. He waved at me when he held his hand up. But when he lifted it up, he started waving like this. Well, that just struck me as really odd. And, uh, that's odd. Bizarre. Wow. That's bizarre, man. Yeah, I just, while you guys are here, I'm by myself every time I come out here. Yeah, probably one out of ten times of me coming that I have Kim with me. Okay. The rest of the time, it's just me. See, that's like me and Mel. And, yeah, I, just, I get scared by myself, and there's so much stuff that happens on this property if I hear something, and it doesn't matter if it's just a coyote or a deer tearing through the palmettas, hearing it, it just brings back flashes of what the other, the bad stuff I've experienced. And even though I didn't see nothing, it scares me, and I just, I get out. But I just, I just want to walk. It's just not worth here. the risk. Right. Yeah. Just about 30 yards right there. I have a, I have an activity that I used to engage in every day, that there were waves. And uh, I, I have difficulty going in the water now, so I know that yeah, feeling. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. See, here's the rub That's he's talking about. You can all see the where they're, they're skinning all of the, 
the little vines up. The whole back side of that thing has just about got it whittled in two. Yeah. Wow. This whole property is just, there's a, an enormous amount of gear on this property. I was, Jeff's What's, corner is right, somewhere right through there is where it starts. And this is where we always hear stuff. Every time I've come down there and we've had audible activity, it's happened here. And I just I always wanted to walk over and just get a look at it. So right. the thing from where you were over in this area, it sounded like the creature was here. Yep, on this side. Now, oh, we get a little well, further, let me take a look I'm around. Sure it's so thick. Well, let's let's take a look around, see if we can find more hair, because that would be one way to can corroborate that you have had encounters here. So if we can get a hair sample from this general area right here, where I you say the contact was. Right but this is where you were hearing it, you say. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've heard it a bunch of times. Yeah. With uh, Matt, Connor, myself, when we were on the other side here, we weren't there five minutes. We just walked in and looked, and everybody was getting kind of nauseous feeling from that area. And we heard a lot over here. It sounded like a, uh, we heard the grunts, but it sounded almost like a moan or a cry, and that came from over here. And well, let me see if I can find some hair. Because this place is torn up, and you can tell somebody's been walking around in here. The branches are all broken everywhere. That almost looks like a skull. Almost. Come on with the hair sample. Okay. I got a hair sample. Okay, guys. Right here on this branch, you can see it. There's a leaf caught in it. There's three leaves caught in it. I'm now going to pull it off the branch. And there it is. Donnie. I got hair. That's corroboration, dude. Okay, man. See, this is what I'm talking about, where you know, you're having encounters in areas. If you just go back in and you really start looking, what you're gonna find is certain species of trees have a tendency to just reach out and grab the hair of these creatures. And what we find is it's the younger oak trees. They have a very, very stiff, brittle branch and uh, it doesn't bend. And so the hair will break before the branch bends and it's pulling hair out. You can find, I got wads of this from one expedition yesterday and now I got more. And this is right where Donnie said that on multiple occasions they heard what sounded like these creatures right where we're standing. Okay, so what's going on is on the other side there we've got uh, wear out marks. Whoops. So in, on this side of the bank over here, We've got a human haul out. Something has been coming up this slide, right? And if it had hooves, we should be able to see some signs of it. So we're going to take a look. You know, it makes sense with it being, oh wow, beat down where you're standing in right here. This is crazy, man. There's a spring right there, or one of the heavy springs that are that's flowing into the creek right there. I mean, it's that is moving. This is one of the most beautiful and scenic areas I've seen in Florida, man. The water here is crystal clear, guys. Even after Look at this spring. Like Can you even believe this? Look at this. God's country indeed. Look at this, man. I just want to jump in it. I literally jumped, took, tore all my clothes off this morning and jumped in this thing. That ain't really flowing. Um, it's got a little bit, a little trickle coming here. You know we haven't had any rain uh, since you guys have been here. Look how the banks wore down right there. It's like the leaf. Oh, there you go. This is gorgeous. These like as much. You know, the beauty that's here, as much as we love it, this is also some of the areas that scare me the most. I can understand and why. We're just, we're kind of wrapped in, we're in a pocket, and there's no getting out if something wants to get after us. Even as good a help as you're in, there's no way you can get up to the top of that bank, you know, in less than 30 seconds. You're not getting up there. No. It's a 45 degree incline, man. And we're, I don't know, 12 feet or so below that, you know, it's down here. What um what do you think we can expect 
if we're going to stay here because nobody's done this here before and you know in these situations i always have a little apprehension so kind of give me the fyi i think y'all are definitely you're gonna hear the screaming sound <laughs> Almost 99.5% positive. You're going to get the screen. Um, you probably hear them that grunting. Um, it's not a grunt like a pig. It's like somebody clearing the throat. Like a <clears throat> All day long. You're hearing the ambient and you're hearing different sounds, you know. We've already heard talking here. Like, I understand what they sound like because I've heard it a lot. And I heard the creatures yapping away, man. You know, a sound... But it sounds human when you hear it. But it's just the the tone. It sounds like a a, a child and an adult male doing it at the exact same time. Come on, man! I, I can hear one of these really loud tree knuckle pop a couple hundred yards away up the hill, up the, like over the top and down in this place that they're calling Jeff's Corner. I'm hearing big brush pops from that part of the property over there. And it's, it's a couple hundred yards from here where we're at. I think it's over by where Donnie showed me the bend in the stream, in the stream today. <coughs> there's like a, there's a, a big arcing turn where it sweeps around this corner and there's, there's like a point on one side. And, uh, and they, they won't go in there and, and I don't blame them because I keep hearing things from that like a one or two second little grunt but they'd start and end exact it's like there's two different tones in it it's really it's a strange sound i just noticed that limb right there is propped up on that tree it could have fell i would imagine but it's just kind of odd swimming area something's been digging right there there are no pigs here at all you see it like something's been look at the stick is that got mud on the end yeah it looks like it that like it looks like there's shaver? a stick over there that's been used. We're gonna have to get over there. Let's let's get over there. Can we get over there? We gotta it's jump, huh? Tall. Yeah. Um, I might be able to get over. Um, these are my everyday shoes. I don't want to get them wet. I know. I'm gonna jump over this way. I'm not here, I can, I can move this. You can probably get right there, maybe. There we go. <laughs> Okay. Now what we got? Look at we got sticks being used here, man. And this has been dug using this stick right here, man. You can see it, okay? This is the ridge right here, and at the end is the stick that was used. Look at this. The mud is still on it where it was being used to dig here. There's a hole, it's deeper right here. So we just found a basic evidence of basic tool usage where parts of the forest, the trees are being used. Something is doing that. They're here. I have no doubt. I'm trying to get my camera to get up there, man. It's it's overheating so bad it doesn't want to oh, work yes. right. There you go. There he is. So anyway, it's corroboration, Donnie. And and this is spectacular right here. That's, now that's the first time I've seen that here. This is tool usage, man. I mean, it's not a stretch. It's a damn stick. Anybody could do it, you know? Yeah, what are they doing? Digging up crawfish. He could be digging up crawfish. No, I bet that's what it's... Maybe, I, I don't, maybe it's trying to open one of them little springs. Well, up. you can see where it was stuck up in here, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're trying to increase the water flow. Who knows? The motivation, I don't know, but the evidence is right there, folks. Yeah, I mean, this this thing right. had this mud all over, and you can see the evidence right there. And that's something. That's a lot of water that's coming out of that little spring. It's maybe 20 feet on the other side of the log right there. I'm almost <laughs> Oh, oh. Right let's get back. I gotta put my tent. Dang it. I got it. Boy. Thundering. 
we got the thunder coming. We got sticks through here stacked up everywhere. Hair hanging from trees. We'll be back around midnight to see what's up with this place. Uh, and then we'll do a rewalk in the morning. Let's, get, let's save the campsite from this thunderstorm. Boy, that wind's coming. Oh, man. See, this is what it is, guys. Look at this tree. Look at this tree snapped. Yeah. All of this is already in place out here, nine miles in the middle of nowhere. What life stories from these creatures go unnoticed by man? I got footsteps. Let's take a walk. Oh my, what is that? major movement on both sides of me. <laughs> 